<clears throat> All right, Shalom. Kahala Yahawo, Bahasham, Yahweshai, Bahasham Rakak Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace salutations unto the hopeful elect. Once again, I am the brother Yahweh and Lord willing, I hope tonight's effort uh, will be, um, Lord willing, I hope tonight's lesson will be edifying, all right? Uh, but basically, the, my topic for tonight is entitled, This World is Staged for the NWO System, all right? This world is staged for NWO system. And I came up with such title inspired by a, a show that I saw last weekend put up by a, a brother that lives in England. All right. And he goes by the name of Judah Israel. So I'm just going to pull up this page real quick. All right. And give you just a little preview of, of of his channel. Uh, for those of you that might be interested, you might also want to subscribe to the brother's channel. All right. Uh, Judah Israel. All right. He's located in England. All right. And so I was intrigued and, 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 and interest weekend. Um, regarding this, this show that he put out, all right, which is called Esau Got It All Planned Out, uh, Countdown to Looking Glass, 1984, all right? Now, this was a, a, a TV movie, perhaps, that came out in 1984, all right? One of them disaster and end of the world movies like uh, the most memorable one for me was um, how 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 could I forget the day after right the day after there were many other um, end of the world little sci-fi flicks that apparently uh, Hollywood was making forty years ago all right and. They were always making such films, all right, because they they know that their time is short, and and we're we're living in them times now. Now, what really caught my attention in this movie, a countdown to glass, you know that the brother Judah Israel mentions on 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 on, on his on his platform is that th this movie, all right, for those of you that might be interested, uh, Lord willing, I might leave a link at the description the description box for you to check some of this movie out. Now, I'm, 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 I'm not going to, I'm not going to play any clips from it. The, the, the brother took care, took care of that on his channel. But on my channel, I choose not to play any clips any clips from it. That's just a little still image right there, you see. But Lord willing, I will leave a link at the description box. Now, the majority of you, all right, uh, Israel, so-called black and Hispanic, all right, I, I hate to say this, the majority of you do have somewhat of a short attention span, all right? You don't you don't really focus too heavily um, on the much more important things that matter in this world today, unless it has something to do with basketball, all right, or, 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 or uh, you know, so something like the World Series, all right? Uh, we're in April now, so, so that means that some of you might, might be more interested in, in baseball, all right? Or, 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 or watch him a bunch of a, a bunch of bitches shake their their, their booties on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
that you know that there's a lot more to this life than just those kind of things. You got to find the balance for everything, man. All right, and right now having knowledge of self and the kind of world you're in uh, is 10 times more important. Now, overall, for those of you that might care to uh, to uh, you know to watch my program and, and click on the link, all right. You don't have to see the whole the whole movie. It runs an an hour and 25 minutes, I think. All right, uh, but you know, t t take a good, pay very close attention to at least the first 10. 15, 20 minutes of the movie, all right? Pay very close attention to at least the first half hour of the movie, all right? And then you see very, you, you will see a lot of similarities and will also see, will also realize why, why I took uh, much interest in, in doing my own take on, 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 on this old movie tonight, all right? In the first 10 minutes of the movie, you will hear words like banking crisis, all right? And that's exactly what, what's happening right now in America, all right? And so-called America a month ago already, all right? At least two, two banks shut down, all right? And, and there's been talk that other banks might shut down, all right? Or will shut down, all right? Well, that that you hear the you hear the word, the words economic crisis, constantly in the first ten or fifteen minutes of this movie. You hear the you you hear the 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 you will hear the the, the country of Saudi uh, Saudi Arabia being mentioned. Ironically enough, Saudi Arabia today is uh, has made headlines. All right, for, for turning its back on the U.S. dollar. All right, and to my understanding, uh, uh, the crude oil, all right, has has no backing uh, by, by the U.S. dollar no more. All right, to to my understanding, y'all that might be watching, look, look that one up. All right, but you will see a lot of similarities and this and this movie that came out in 1984 where they mention about they make mention about a banking crisis they make mention of, of world war 3 all right a crisis in the middle east all right so like like the brother judah is uh, israel uh labeled his show esau got it all planned out man all right, so so all these things that that are that are taking shape already in the world today was already staged, was already uh, f forecasted by this white man forty years ago, man, forty years in the making. <laughs> all right, Salakia, forty years in the making, man. That's why I chose to en entitle. My own, my own lesson tonight, my, my own program, Lord willing, that's why I chose to entitle it, This World is Staged, all right? Everything that you see happening now on, on, on the news, all right, in the news is forecast, has already been staged, man. Everything, everything that, that this so-called white man does is staged, all right? He pre-plans it, all right? And there's another name for that. It's called predictive programming, man, okay? Predictive programming. They, 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 they know that, that their time is short, and that's why you have seen one disaster movie after the other, okay? Uh, among the most famous ones are Independence Day, War of the Worlds, okay, uh, so Steven Spielberg, all right, one of Hollywood's most finest and elitist filmmakers, okay, 
He came up with close encounters of, of the third kind, all right, back in 1977, all right? And, and his buddy George Lucas came up with Star Wars, okay? And, and just before Star Wars, all right, for those of you that, that may not know, all right, Lucas went on to, to make uh, a little dystopian movie called THX1138, all right? Now, now for those of you that, that may not be aware of that movie, look it up on YouTube or on, the, on your favorite streaming service. They might, they might have it available. It's called THX1138, all right? What, what, what was that movie about? It was about the New World Order, man. It was about oppression, about people being confined, bald-headed, and make concentration-like environment, man. Okay, and if you take a good, uh, and if you take a closer look at Star Wars, right? That 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 little money-making idea that that George Lucas came up with, right? If you take a very good close look at Star Wars, all right, okay, most of us grew up with, 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 with that sort of thing. We grew up liking it. We grew up watching a lot of it, all right? But, but now as adults, all right, when we get our eyes open, we, we see these movies with a third eye now, man. You take a good close, a closer look at Star Wars and the Empire Strikes Back. What's really that that all about? Okay, what 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 what's Darth Vader and 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 the so-called Empire beam all about? We're not they about oppression. We're, 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 we're not they about really oppressing the people, and that's why the the, the rebels stood up against them. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 then. And and then uh, uh, Lucas portrayed uh, Luke Skywalker as some as some uh, as some Yahawashai type savior like uh, uh, savior like figure. You understand what I'm saying? That 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 he was told that he was the chosen one, all right, or or, or the son of the chosen one. A Anakin was really the the so called chosen one, all right. A Anakin went on to become Darth Vader, right? Okay, and and why did he become Darth Vader? Because he he chose to follow the dark side. All right, he he turned away from from so called good. You understand what I'm saying? So 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 that's really what happened to our people. All right, and this is why we're we're still in the condition that we're in today. All right more than 400 years of, of captivity and still under our enemies, all right? Because we, we chose not to keep honoring the Most High, all right? We wanted to worship idols, okay? The, 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 uh, 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 idol worship that turned our back from, from, from the Most High who, who had already previously delivered us from Egypt all right, D during the first exodus, okay, and, and, and we did not even appreciate that. We, we turned our back on the Lord, man, okay? So the so-called white man, by way of his elites and his so-called historians, they know the scriptures. They, they, know, they know our importance in, in, in history. They know what we did. They, they know what we were, and this is why they have done everything they could to keep us down, all right? To keep us down, to, to try and destroy us in these last days, all right? This is why, you know, they're getting ready to come up with, with come down with this great wrath, as, as foretold in, in, in Revelation, the 12th chapter, because they know that our people are destined to rise above them once more. And this time, our rulership is going to be forever. You understand what forever is? A, a forever kingdom, all right? A, a kingdom with no end, okay? The, the so-called white man knows this, 
And he's disturbed by it. He's irritated by that, man. He's irritated by the fact that niggers, what he calls niggers, are getting ready to take over and be above him forever. This is what he's trying to stop. So this is why he has pushed these, 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 uh, these systematic agendas, New World Order agendas in, in his movies, all throughout his movies. He has pushed out his 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 uh you know his his layout for for the so-called future, which is the time that we're living now. All right. He he has he has laid out. He has mapped out. He's been mapping out his agenda for years with all these different science fiction and 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 dystopian and end of the world movies. Some of the most famous ones I just mentioned, all right, Star Wars, okay, the, the, the Empire Strikes Back and all that, uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, uh, Steven Spielberg, okay, that 20 years ago Spielberg made an, another uh, Illuminati movie, all right, if, if some of y'all might, might know what I'm talking about. All right, but but I'm not referring to War of the Worlds. War of, War of the Worlds came out in 2005, but the movie that 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 he made in 2001, all right, it was called what? It was called AI. What does AI stand for? Artificial intelligence. All right, it's not that what we have what what we already have going today. Artificial intelligence, all right, okay. So, so, so we already have that. We we already have that. Um, uh, we already we already have that become reality, okay. What well, the, 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 there is a such thing as AI, artificial intelligence today. You understand what I'm saying? And and this movie came out in 2001. All right, about 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 a small human-looking robotic boy that 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 wanted to be human, that that wanted that that wanted to 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 uh to to be with his mom, all right, but that 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 itself was also predictive programming, man, and so every aspect of our lives really is a form, has been a form of predictive programming. On, on how these elites, you know, as I've already mentioned, they they map out the, their their ideas, they they lay out their their their, their groundwork on how they want to try and oppress us and and destroy us more as a people, all right, through 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 their damn Hollywood movies, man. Okay, that's why I chose to name this show. This world is staged. Everything is staged. Everything involving this so-called white man is staged, man. All right? When, 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 when you do better research on the so-called Apollo moon landing, all right, I, I won't get too much into that, but that itself was, was already staged, man. So for those of you out there that might might still be thinking that, 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 that the U.S. of A. was was the first to land on, on on the damn moon and all that. You really think that kind of technology really existed in 1969, man? All right, that itself was staged. All right, that itself was staged. All right, that that that's all I'm saying on that. That 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 was that that was a whole Hollywood uh the setup thing, man. Okay, so so the overall thing, the, the the bottom line here is everything is staged, all right? Everything is staged, and 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 once and one more time, getting back to to this little movie here, countdown to Looking Glass, all right? That that's the name of this movie. You you just watch the ten, the first 10, 30 minutes of it, all right? And you will see that 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 much of what they mentioned in that first half hour 
It's already taking place today, man. All right? Plain and simple. Okay? So without further ado, Lord Swell, let, 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 let's start with some scriptures now, man. All right? Let's go to the nitty gritty now for the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashan Yahweh and start with scriptures now. All right. So the, the first scripture I have uh, 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 laid out is Jeremiah the the twenty eight chapter. All right. So I'm gonna read. I'm gonna scroll down. Salakia. Computer, as as always, uh, it's a little slow and shit. All right. Let me just try and scroll down to ver verses 8 and 9. Okay. Jeremiah 28 and 9. All right. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. All right, so right there, the, the prophet Jeremiah, all right, and, and take note, Jeremiah was yet only a child. And in the Bible, when, 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 for those of you that really care about studying, all right, this is something that, that the Apostle Elder Tahar and the rest of Great Millstone encouraged their followers. All right? Don't just sit back and take notes. Do your own research, man. All right? When you do your own research on, on Jeremiah, as, as, as I myself did, you realize that, that he was only just a boy, and yet the Most High raised him up to be a great prophet, all right? And so here he said that the prophets before him, all right, the, 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 those that before he was even born had already prophesied, all right, of the destruction that would take place of the old empires of our former captivities but back then, all right, and to uh, uh, all the way till today, okay? So, so that that is something that 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 lingers on till today, all right. The 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 the, the, the what's happening in the world right now is only a warm up, okay, of greater evils and and more pestilences to come. But who has been warning the people about these throughout the years, throughout the centuries? All right, you understand what I'm saying? Who has who has been the first to give warning that these great evils would happen, man? All right, the the, the prophets, okay, the the, the 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 men that the Most High set up on this earth, okay, uh, beginning with the ancient prophets and in, in the in the Bible, Jer Jeremiah being one of them, okay, they they have prophesied. Of the of of of, of the, the the coming calamities, the, the the world crisis that lies right around the corner, all right, of war, evil, and the pestilence, all right. The people have been warned for for centuries that these days would come, and we're we are living them them days now, right now as I speak. All right. Verse 9. The prophet which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that 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 the Lord hath truly sent him. Okay, that then the people will realize, all right, that that those niggers and, and spicks around the corner, all right, as as many of, of the great apostle uh, uh, elders. And, and, and other camp leaders have been called, all right, for, for, for all of those who, who, who have made mockery and, and, and have scoffed these, these hardworking men that have been doing nothing but trying to warn others out there of the dangers that lie ahead for most of you people out there, man. 
then you're going to realize and, and all hell break, when all hell finally does break loose that they were indeed those prophets that the Most High set up all along. You understand what I'm saying? Then you're going to realize, damn, I wish I should have never made mockery of them brothers, yo. That they were telling me the truth all along, and I was stubborn. I didn't want to listen. God damn. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of you are gonna be are gonna be uh uh, uh are gonna be uh you're gonna be ashamed in that day, man. A lot of you are gonna be regretting your your you know your you, you know, you, you, you scoffing, you scoffing at certain brothers, you know, and, 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 you know, and call them crazy and all that. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of you are going to regret that shit. All right. And, and I got, and I got one scripture here in Psalms, the 110th chapter that would, that Lord willing would serve as precept to this scripture I just read. Let's go to Psalms 110 real quick. All right. All right, so lock it. All right. Let's go to Psalms 110 real quick. And I'm going to read the, the, the third verse. All right. Psalms 110 and 3. All right. Okay. And you see the, the, the point I'm trying to make real shortly. All right. Okay. So Psalms 110 and verse 3. And it reads this, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. All right? Meaning that 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 for, 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 for those of you that might still doubt, all right, and you don't take heed to the warnings that's been given to you, all right, by the great men of the Lord, all right, then you're going to be willing in, in that day of, of their power, man. All right? Okay, those of you that may still uh, have doubts or you don't believe the, the warnings that, that you don't even care to see what's happening in the world right now that's going to lead, all right, to, to a coming global crisis, a coming global famine and World War III, all right, when, 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 when you see all this take place, and, and then you see the, 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 the high praise and the power and glory that the chosen of, of, of the Lord will, will, will receive in that day. Then getting them spiritual powers, man. And you're going to see them fly around like Superman and all that. Then you're going to say, God damn. God damn, man. I should have listened. I should have listened. Damn. Motherfuck, man, I should have listened. All right, it's going to be too late for that shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to be too late then. All right. Okay, maybe for some of you it won't be too late then, but but for those that won't truly repent, you understand what I'm saying? Okay, thy people shall be willing in the day of, of whose power? And the day that the elect will receive them powers, Lord willing, man. You understand what I'm saying? That then you're going to know in that day that a prophet has indeed been among you and trying to warn you all this time, all right, of the coming uh, uh, calamities that lie right around the corner, man. Okay? This so-called white man is trying to destroy us all. You understand what I'm saying? He's trying to destroy us all in these last days, man. That's ultimately what he wants. That's what this so-called NWO is about. All right? That's what it's all about, man, uh, leading to more oppression, more suffering and destruction. All right? 
All right, but 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 Lord willing, the, the, the Lord will be with his elect in that day, man. Okay? Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning thou hast to do of thy youth. So there you go. All right? Now, let's go to Daniel, all right? Daniel 8 and... Daniel 8 and 25, all right? Okay. Book of Daniel now, 8, all right? Daniel 8 and 25, all right? Daniel 8 and 25. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. All right? So right there it's telling you, all right, how our enemies, beginning with the elite, the elite banking families, all right, that is the enemy mentioned here in Daniel 8.25, all right? Like I mentioned earlier, by, by way of, of, of the so-called disaster movies and science fiction movies, how they lay, how they lay out their how they map out their plans for for future world domination what they're trying to do right now all right now now, now I, I mentioned that movie uh AI uh, by Steven Spielberg a little while ago artificial intelligence all right I don't think many of you have 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 ever even uh, heard of that movie but but look it up on, on, on YouTube and 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 uh, you know go, go Google it somewhere. AI artificial intelligence man. It came out in 2001. Now now here's another here's another dystopian uh, 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 robot robotic movie for you. There's many of them out there. I'm only going to mention one more. For those of you that I know might be diehard. Will Smith fans, all right. In two thousand four, your 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 homie Will Smith, right? He made this one movie called what? Called I Robot. All right. Now now, what was that movie all about? It, it was about a bunch of robots, right? Also artificial intelligence, man. All right. Now 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 that movie was a, it, it dealt with with a, with a robot. That 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 killed somebody, and and Will Smith uh, uh interviews him right, and the robot uh insists insist that that he's innocent, that he never really killed this man. You understand what I'm saying? For for those of you who have already seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. All right, that that's another major Illuminati movie right there. I Robot. All right, and another and another dystopian Illuminati futuristic movie, man. And and we are already living this time. We are already living these times. All right. I bet they already have su such robots out there in real life stored in my, in my damn warehouse somewhere, man. And they're gonna they're going to use these robots against you so-called black people against. You so-called Puerto Rican, Dominican, and Mexican people. You so-called Native American people that just want to keep fucking around. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. While well, y'all prefer to keep bullshitting and partying, your 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 enemy, the white man, is setting is setting you up for the slaughter, man. Okay. He's setting you up for the slaughter. All right. He's setting you up for the slaughter. 
That's why it says here, for his policy also, all right, all these policies that he's pushing out right now, these legislations, all right, they, 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 they want to take for freedom of speech away from you, all right? You, you, you can't keep expressing yourself a certain way uh, 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 anymore. You understand what I'm saying? They want to have control over 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 every aspect of your life. Okay. Okay. All right. And 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 that's where the, this so-called cryptocurrency that they're getting ready to launch real soon and eliminate this dollar-dollar bill, y'all. That too will be another form of all-out control for you. You won't be able to spend nor save your money like you do now, man. You understand what I'm saying? So, so the <coughs> so lucky. So all of this is being worked out, is being laid out right now as I speak, through his policy. Through his policy, he's causing craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. How is he magnifying himself? All right? By, by the world believing that, that he is God, that he is a God, that he can perform miracles. By way, by way, these miracles, by way of his so-called technology. All right? By way of his machines. Okay? And his so-called advanced technology and all this other shit. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, and by peace, by so-called peace, I come in peace, all right? It's not that what, what Columbus told the natives in, 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 in Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. I come in peace and shall destroy many, all right? He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, that is talking about so-called Christ, all right? The Prince of Princes is talking about the Lord Yahawashai, that image that you see right there, man, okay? The, the, the badass warrior, the king, all right? They're getting ready to, hey, the, the Lord, the, this white man thinks he, he can destroy every last one of us. The Lord is getting ready to bring Nothing but mass slaughter to this earth, man. All right? And the slave of the Lord shall be many, as, as foretold in Isaiah, the 66th chapter, man. And the 15th verse, man. Okay? The Lord ain't playing, man. You, you, you're going to see that. Hey, if the Lord wants to want, wants you to live that day, you're going to see it your, your damn self. He ain't playing, man. Okay, the, the Lord ain't playing, man. He's going to show that when he comes back, man. You understand what I'm saying? That there's going to be a lot of death and destruction out here. All right? You don't really have to take my word for it. When you, when, 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 when you, when you finally see it come to pass, then you'll know. And, and then, you, then you will say, damn, that, that, that guy really was, that, that, that guy, Really wasn't bullshit. That's right. All right, you're gonna see a lot of uh, uh, the the you're gonna see a lot of dead bodies out here, man. Okay. All right. W w word words cannot describe the 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 kind of chaos and mayhem that's gonna come to these here streets, man. Okay, but but may the Lord shield his elect in that day, and, and he will. You understand what I'm saying? But for those that refuse to repent and just want to keep party, 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 fun, 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 life is nothing but one big party. Nah, 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 nah hey, not in these times, man. The, hey, these are serious times, man. They're getting ready to become even more serious. All right? You understand what I'm saying? And the slave of the Lord shall be many. But before he comes down here, he's going to let this white man 
and his advanced technology start getting a hold of, of these wicked niggers out here, of wicked spicks and, and wetbacks that don't want to take heed to the word. They're going to get caught, caught out here, man. All right? Okay, that, 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 that's why the book of Revelation 12 and 12 says what it says. All right? That for the devil shall come down having great, what? Having great wrath. All right? Because he knows that he have but a short time, y'all. All right? Now, getting back to the scripture. All right? I just read that scripture right there. All right, let's go to Daniel 12 and 1, all right? And and then, Lord willing, I'll finish it with, with, with Job, the 20th chapter, and so on. All right, moving on up. All right, what's the next one I got lined up? Yeah, Daniel 12 and 1, all right? Daniel 12 and 1, all right? Daniel 12 and 1 says this, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time, at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, all right? Now, right there, as I was just saying, you know, there, there's going to be so much chaos and mayhem out here, so so, man, so much evil happening that, the, that, you know, divine intervention has to take over. All right? The, the, the Most High, all right, the, 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 the Son of the Most High, the King and Savior has to has to make a stand in that day, has to make a a, a, a a manifestation, a divine intervention, man, all right, by him sending one of his great archangels down here, Michael, all right, because that's how seriously bad it's going to get down here, all right, we're going to need divine intervention in the midst of great chaos and mayhem. All right? So getting back to the scripture, at that time shall Michael, the archangel, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, man. Can you imagine that? A time of great trouble, not just trouble, 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 man. Great trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. All right? And at, that, and at that time, that people shall be delivered. So Lord willing, Abaratasa, the elect will make it through the fire. All right? And survive what's coming. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. All right? Now, now let, let's go to Job now, all right? And then I'll finish it with Isaiah 14. All right, I'm going to read a few verses off of the book of Job, the, tw the 20th chapter, all right? Okay. So that, that would be Job 20. I'm going to read verses 4 through 9, all right? And it says this, knowest thou, knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumph of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, Yet he shall perish forever like his own done. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? So right now, okay, Esau, 
all right? Esau, Esau, all right? Ehaw, the so-called white man, right? That is his true biblical name, not white, because the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, as, as told in Genesis 25, 25, all right? That is the white man's real true color, red, not white, okay? They gave themselves that name white in the 1600s, all right? But right now, they are at they are still at the peak of their power. They are still the excellency of the planet Earth. All right? They got satellites. They got space stations out there in outer space. All right? They're keeping a close eye at what goes on in the heavens beyond outer space 24-7, man. Because they know that that the Lord is on uh, is on His way to take the rulership down, man. Okay, so they are still yet at, at their excellency. All right, satellites in outer space that are trying to colonize the moon, try trying that trying to colonize Mars. All right, trying to do all these things in outer space. All right. That they keep trying to to predict what 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 greatness that they will do that 20 30 years from now or uh, 50 years from now all right their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever all right psalms 49 and 11 all right you understand what i'm saying okay but it says here Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own done. Now you take a good look at that word done. That's basically the, the, the biblical term for shit. The biblical term for doo-doo, so you can understand. Okay? So the white man is getting, is getting ready to perish like his own doo-doo. Like his own shit, so you can understand. All right? The Most High Himself, Yahweh Shai, is getting ready to make him perish like shit. All right? To be flushed down the toilet. Salakim. <coughs> 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 Yeah, that's them demons for you. You can make me cough all you want. All right? All right? <clears throat> you, can, you can irritate my throat all you want and try to keep me from, from, from talking. But that's still what's coming to you, man. That, 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 that is your fate, all right? That is your destiny, all right? Like, 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 like Darth Vader told Luke Skywalker in The Empire Strikes Back, the, the last thing Luke ever wanted to hear was that, that Darth Vader was his father. And what did Darth Vader said to him, all right? By 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 by, by the, the the magical famous line that that the great James Earl Jones delivered as the voice of Darth Vader, it is your destiny. It is your destiny. That's right. It's your destiny, Esau. It's your destiny to perish now. All right. It's your destiny that that a that a that a, a tall a huge uh, angelic so-called black being is coming back to this earth to, to, to take down your rulership, man. All right? To take you down forever and make nothing out of you. All right? So enjoy the last few seconds of your greatness while you still can, man. All right? You understand what I'm saying? And enjoy the last few seconds 
of your great rulership. It's getting ready to end, y'all. No matter what new uh, type of legislations you push out there or, or new oppression that you want to keep bringing to the world, all right? The, the more you make your move, the, the, the more the most high will make his move, man. You understand what I'm saying? The, the, the closer you make your moves, the closer your yeah, yeah, was shy. Take a good look at that image right there. All right? A Rothschild, Rockefeller, all right? J J.P. Morgan, those of you that might be watching, that's the face of, of your destroyer right there. That that's that that's the face. That's the face of your enemy. That that that's the face of, of your 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 judge and executioner. All right. The more you make your move, the more the the more hey the, the more the Lord will make His move and destroy you, man. You understand what I'm saying? All right. All right now. Okay. All right. So let, let, let's finish. Uh, what, what verse did I took? Yeah. He shall perish like his own done. All right. Okay. They which, they which have seen him shall say, where is he? Where is Esau? Where, where, where is Mr. White Man at? Where he at? You understand what I'm saying? Verse 8, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Okay? Okay? This, this, this very captivity, Salakia, this very captivity that we are still yet in will one day seem like just one big bad dream. A vision of the night. A matrix. All right. A matrix so you can understand. Verse 9. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. All right. Now in closing, let's go to Isaiah 14 real quick. All right. Isaiah, Lord willing, I'll close it there. Isaiah 14, all right? And I'm going to read verses 16 for 22, all right? And it says this, Isaiah 14 and 16, They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee. And shall consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners? All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his home. Ah! Salakia, everyone in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the remnant of those that are slain, thrust through with a sword, that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden on the feet. Hey, man, so, hey. Mr. Esau, man, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, no matter what you may try to do to, to, to me and, and the rest of my brethren in these last days, man, the, the Most High has, has your own days numbered already, man. You understand what I'm saying? The, the, the Lord, that face that you see right there, all right? Uh, he he gave he gave you, you so-called white men the the brains, all right. He gave you the the so-called uh, uh, intelligence that you like boasting about, all right, and the the, the so-called technology that you 
that you like boast him about. All right? Once he comes back, you're going to go back being the, the exact caveman that, that you were in them damn caves, man. All right? You're, you're not going to, to have any more intelligence, any more wisdom. You're not going to have any more craftiness. You won't be cunning anymore. You won't be the snake that you was created to be no more. All right? That, that's why I read that scripture in Isaiah 14, man. Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? Right now, you are still making the earth to tremble. But then days, then days of your heart, rulership, and tyranny are coming to a close. All right? So with that, call Allah Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Bahasham Rakakadash. I hope this show was edifying. Kwan Yasha'Allah. Shalom.